Have you ever promised people would be successful in their business or personal life if they follow what you teach? Well, it's an interesting question because in a way, if a person does follow the principles of divine love and divine truth in their personal life, now all of God's laws are working in harmony with their choices. Now, naturally, that's going to result in a pretty positive life, a very happy, fulfilling, beautiful life. The problem, though, is that we live in a world that is very much against following, th doing things in harmony with love, truth and humility. And there are many spirits that surround us on a day to day basis that also live out of harmony with love, truth and humility. As a result, those particular people will oppose what we do. So we can't guarantee while a person is on Earth, while the Earth conditions are as they currently are, that they will automatically be result in more happiness and more joy and more fulfillment in their life if they follow the principles of divine truth. Because when they follow the principles of divine truth, there are other things in the world as it currently stands that oppose those principles. Mm -hmm. They oppose the principles of free will, for example. They oppose the principles of love. They oppose the principles of honesty. They oppose the principle, lots of different principles that we're teaching. Now, because of that, you basically on earth have this sort of separation, if you like, that occurs where those people who are practicing principles of love, truth and humility feel and can often be attacked by the people who do not want to practice the principles of love, truth and humility. I put to everyone though, that if the people saying that they're practicing the principles of love, truth and humility attack others, then they are not practicing the principles of love, truth and humility. But if a person is practicing the principles of love, truth and humility that we teach, then they could have a positive life, but that is now dependent upon how the people who are out of harmony with those principles wish to act towards them. So we cannot promise that a person is going to have a much more happier, fulfilled life because there is the potential of attack coming from another group of people when they follow the principles of love, truth and humility. So um, what is to be gained if people follow the teachings? Well, immense things, immense things. Firstly, you'll learn the truth of the universe from God. You, learn to, you, you come to have a purely loving relationship with God. You receive divine love. As you receive divine love, your soul is open to absorbing the truths of the universe. So you begin absorbing all of the truths of the universe. You, you have no fear. Uh, you get to a point in the future where there is no fear at all within you. So you no longer live by any fear at all. You become at one with God through this process. So now everything you choose to do is completely in harmony with love and truth. So there are just immense benefits from following the, following the principles of love and truth. However, while you live in the world as it is currently, there is the potential still of you being attacked because of the choices that other people make. Now obviously, the more people who make a choice for love and truth, the less people there will be who who wish to attack and there will also be less people who respond to fear of attack and as a result of that the world can also change and eventually become a loving place too. So there are immense personal benefits, there is immense universal benefits in terms of the rest of your existence, infinite benefits for your life but there is also the benefits of living how you live your life now and the potential benefit of the whole world changing as a result of your choices. Hmm. Thank you.